हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैड बीन लर्न दैट सरफेस एरियाज एंड वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ सॉलिड शेप्स दैट इज क्यूब क्यूबॉइड राइट सर्कुलर सिलेंडर राइट सर्कुलर कोन देन स्पेरिकल शेल और स्पीयर हेमिस्पीयर ओके इन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज सॉलिड्स एंड If we convert one solid into another, then what is the volume? Okay. So first, we will write basic formulas for these solid shapes. Okay. We already know these formulas, but only for revision or for review, we will take formula of surface areas and. volumes of these solid shapes okay so first one is cube so lsa of cube that is lsa means we know that lsa means we have to exclude top area and bottom area from total surface area okay so here for cube 6 surfaces are there okay and each surface is a square shape okay so lsa of cube that is a 4a square okay we have to remove remove top and bottom so total four surfaces are there okay and each surface is square shape that is a 4a square okay if side of cube is a so here i am writing if side of cube is a units okay then lsa of cube is 4a square tsa okay tsa is equal to 6a square and volume of cube is equal to a cube okay volume basic formula is area of base into height okay area of base for any solid shape this is basic formula area of base into height okay so here for cube base is a square and into height also a so a square into a that is a cube so we will get volume is a cube and diagonal of cube that is equal to root root into a cube okay so this is the diagonal of cube okay do na na sorry root 3 hai okay, na ke diagonal of cube is diagonal of cube is equal to root 3 a okay because if suppose this is diagonal of cube suppose this is cube okay so diagonal of cube means joining this point to this point okay so first if we find this side that is this is right angle so if this side this side is a this is also a so a square plus a square we will get hypotenuse so a square plus a square 2a square that is a root 2a now this is root 2a this is again a so if we join this root 2a and a so root 2a square that is 2a square plus a square so we will get 3a square and if we find square root this is root 3a so diagonal of cube that is a root 3a okay now we will take cuboid so cuboid having three dimensions that is length breadth and height so tsa of cuboid that is 2 times lb plus bh plus lh okay then lsa 2h l plus b then volume is equal to 
एल बी एच एंड डायगोनल ऑफ क्यूबोइड इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एल स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस एच स्क्वायर ओके दिस इज द डायगोनल ऑफ क्यूबोइड देन देन वी विल टेक नेक्स्ट दैट इज अ सिलेंडर ओके दिस फॉर्म्यूलेस वी learn in previous classes so i am not explaining again this only i am writing this formulas for review of this surface areas and volumes okay because we are we are going to use this formulas to solve example okay now i am writing formula for cylinder so third one is right circular cylinder okay why it is called right because height is perpendicular to radius right circular cylinder okay so for this one you can drawing this figure right circular cylinder this is r this is h okay so two circular faces are there and one curved face so curved surface area that is uh, cac curved surface area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h okay then total surface area tsa is equal to we have to add this two spherical or uh, sorry two circular bases that is a uh, 2 pi r h plus area of two circular bases that is a uh, one is area of one circle that is pi r square so pi r square plus pi r square means 2 pi r square okay so if we take 2 pi r common what is remain h plus r or we can write 2 pi r in bracket r plus h so this is tsa then volume volume is equal to pi r square h and okay so this is volume is equal to pi r square so these three formulas for ap applicable applicable for right circular cylinder okay first is csa then tsa and volume or we can write one area of circular base is equal to pi r square okay now we will take next one is hollow circular cylinder okay this is fourth one hollow circular cylinder okay that is also right or we can write right hollow circular cylinder okay so sir hollow circular cylinder means it's like a tube okay so it include two cylinders one is inner and another one is outer okay so these two circular cylinders are there so i am considering here small r that is a radius for inner circular cylinder and capital r that is a radius for outer circular cylinder okay h is same for both cylinder okay now first that is a area of circular base now this area this base looks like a ring okay so it is looks like a ring inner radius is smaller outer radius is capital r so area of base this is hollow so area of base means area of this ring so area of ring we know that pi r square minus small r square okay this is area of circular base then csa csa means 
कर्ड सर्वेस एरिया ऑफ आउटर सिलेंडर प्लस कर्ड सर्वेस एरिया ऑफ इनर सिलेंडर दैट इज टू पाय आर एच दिस इज फॉर इनर प्लस टू पाय आर एच दिस इज कर्ड सर्वेस एरिया ऑफ फॉर आउटर सो इफ यू टेक टू पाय एच कॉमन आर प्लस आर ओके सो दिस इज सी एस ए टी एस ए सो टी एस ए मीन्स सी एस ए प्लस एरिया ऑफ सर्क्युलर बेस टू बेसेस आर देर सो वी हैव टू एड हियर टू ओके सो टू पाय एच और इफ आई एम राइटिंग दिस टू पाय आर एच दिस इज इनर सी एस ए प्लस टू पाय आर एच दिस इज आउटर सी एस ए प्लस पाय इन टू आर स्क्वेर माइनस आर स्क्वेर दिस इज द एरिया ऑफ सर्क्युलर बेस बट टू बेसेस आर देर सो मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू ओके यू कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस टू पाय टेक कॉमन ओके यू विल गेट एच ऑल्सो टेक कॉमन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स ओके बट इफ यू कीप इन माइंड दिस फॉर्म्यूला दैट इज इजी टू रिमेंबर इनर सी एस ए आउटर सी एस ए प्लस एरिया ऑफ सर्क्युलर बेस ओके एंड टू बेसेस आर देर सो मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू ओके सो दिस इज टी एस ए एंड वॉल्यूम ओके वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंडर इज पायर स्क्वेर एच सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ हॉलो सिलेंडर इज पाय कैपिटल आर स्क्वेर एच माइनस पाय स्मॉल आर स्क्वेर एच पाय एच टेक कॉमन आर स्क्वेर माइनस आर स्क्वेर ओके वी विल गेट वॉल्यूम ऑफ हॉलो सिलेंडर ओके अंडरस्टैंड दिस अप टू दिस नाउ वी विल टेक नेक्स्ट वन राइट सर्क्युलर कोन वी हैव टू फाइंड सरफेस एरिया दैट इज टी एस ए सी एस ए एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ कोन ओके सो आई एम राइटिंग फॉर्म्यूले इन नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड ऑलरेडी वी लर्न दैट फॉर्म्यूले फॉर राइट सर्क्युलर कोन सो देर आर थ्री डायमेंशंस सो स्लैंड हाइट हाइट एंड रेडियस ओके दिस इज स्लैंड हाइट एल इज इक्वल टू स्लैंड हाइट एच दैट इज अ वर्टिकल हाइट एंड रेडियस ऑफ द बेस ऑफ द कोन ओके सो एल स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वेर प्लस एच स्क्वेर ओके दिस इज फर्स्ट फॉर्म्यूला देन सी एस ए ऑफ कोन इज इक्वल टू सी एस ए ऑफ कोन इज पाय आर एल टी एस ए ऑफ कोन ओके सो सी एस ए मीन्स ओनली दिस कर्ड सर्फेस टी एस ए मीन्स वी हैव टू एड बेस एरिया ऑल्सो सो टी एस ए ऑफ कोन इज इक्वल टू दिस सी एस ए प्लस बेस एरिया नाउ दिस इज सर्क्युलर बेस सो प्लस पायर स्क्वेर सो पायर एल प्लस पायर स्क्वेर एंड देन वॉल्यूम ऑफ कोन वॉल्यूम ऑफ कोन दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय थ्री पाय आर स्क्वेर एच ओके वन बाय थ्री पाय आर स्क्वेर एच सो फॉर वॉल्यूम स्लैंड हाइट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ कोन इज इक्वल टू वन थर्ड पायर स्क्वेर एच ओके टू वन इज स्पीयर सो फॉर स्पीयर सी एस ए एंड टी एस ए बोथ आर सेम सो टी एस ए इज इक्वल टू फोर पाय आर स्क्वेर दैट इज अ टी एस ए देन वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू फोर बाय थ्री पाय आर क्यू ओके दिस इज अ वॉल्यूम देन हेमिस्पियर हेमिस्पियर इट लुक्स लाइक दिस हेमिस्पियर ओके सो फॉर हेमिस्पियर सी एस ए इज टू पायर स्क्वेर एंड टी एस ए इज इक्वल टू टू पायर स्क्वेर प्लस दिस पायर स्क्वेर ओके वेन वी कट स्पियर वी विल गेट दिस एरिया एक्स्ट्रा दैट इज अ पायर स्क्वेर दिस वन ओके सो दिस इज टू पायर स्क्वेर प्लस दिस पायर स्क्वेर सो टी एस ए ऑफ हेमिस्पियर दैट इज अ थ्री पायर स्क्वेर एंड वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ दिस सो हाफ ऑफ दिस मीन्स टू बाय थ्री पाय आर क्यू ओके वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू टू बाय थ्री पाय आर क्यू सो दिस इज फॉर्म्यूले फॉर स्पीयर एंड हेमिस्पियर नाउ वी विल टेक स्पेरिकल शेल सो आउटर सी एस ए ऑफ स्पेरिकल शेल इज अ फोर पाय 
r square okay and volume is equal to so it looks like this and volume is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube minus r cube okay now we will take examples on this okay so in 10 standard we have examples that is a combination of solids means when we join two solids together or three solids together what is the surface area and volume okay or conversion of solids means when we convert one shape into another what is the volume of that two solid when we convert one shape into another means suppose sphere is there we have to melt that sphere and we have to convert in a cube then volume of sphere and volume of cube that is a equal because same material is there okay that we have to melt and we have to convert in a cube okay so in that case when we convert when we melt one solid sphere or one solid shape into another solid shape okay then in that case volume is equal okay so keep in mind this okay now we will take examples based on this okay now we will solve example first one is two cubes each of 10 centimeter edge are joined end to end so here two cubes we have to join having side is given 10 centimeter each find the surface area of the resulting cuboid okay so if we join two cubes we will get one cuboid okay having length is 20 centimeter because if we join two cubes length will be changed so it is 20 centimeter breadth and height this both are same that is 10 centimeter okay so if we join two cubes we will get cuboid having length 20 centimeter breadth is 10 centimeter and height is 10 centimeter okay so tsa of cuboid that is equal to tsa of cuboid is equal to we know that formula 2 into lb plus bh plus lh so 2 into lb that is l is 10 sorry l is 20 b is 10 plus breadth 10 height 10 plus l 20 and height is 10 okay so 2 into 20 into 10 200 plus this is 100 plus 200 so 200 plus 200 400 plus 100 that is 500 so 2 into 500 that is 1000 centimeter square that is the surface area of resulting cuboid okay so keep in mind this when we join two cube length will be changed two cube or three cube that is depend on example okay so here two cubes we have to join so we will get a cuboid having length is 20 because if we join this length will be changed breadth and height becomes as it is that is 10 and 10 okay now we will take second example second example is three cubes whose edges measure 3 centimeter 4 centimeter and 5 centimeter respectively to form a single cube find its edge also find the surface area of new cube okay so three cube having edges 3 centimeter 4 centimeter and 5 centimeter we have to melt it and we have to form a single cube okay so if we melt three cubes and to form a single cube then volume of that new cube is equal to sum of the volume of these three cubes okay so we have to suppose that let x be the edge of new cube then volume of new cube is equal to sum of the volume volumes 
of three cubes. Okay, so volume of cube we know that formula that is a side cube. So x cube is equal to three cube plus four cube plus five cube. <coughs> okay, so three cube is twenty seven. Four cube is sixty four plus one twenty five. So if we add this five plus four nine plus seven sixteen one two plus one three plus six nine plus two eleven two one six. So x cube is equal to two one six. If we take cube root on both side, so x is equal to six centimeter. Okay. So side of new cube is six centimeter. Now we have to find the surface area of new cube. So surface area. Is equal to that is a TSA surface area means here meaning is TSA so surface area is six into side square here side is x so here I am writing six into side square so six into x square and six into value of x is six that is a six square so first find the square of six and then multiply with six that is a six into thirty six that is a Two one six centimeter square. So surface area of new cube is equal to two hundred and sixteen centimeter square. Okay, understand this one. Now we will take third example. Third example is three cubes, each of side five centimeter at are join end to end. Find the surface area of resulting cuboid. Okay, so same like first one. If we join three cubes end to end, okay, so length will be changed. So it is like this way. Okay, so length of resulting cuboid that is only fifteen. Okay, five centimeter plus this five centimeter. Plus this five centimeter. Okay, so length of resulting cube board is fifteen, and breadth and height that is a five centimeter. Okay, so breadth and height remains same, only length will be changed. Okay, so L is equal to fifteen centimeter, breadth is equal to five centimeter, and height is equal to five centimeter. Okay, so surface area TSA. Of cuboid is equal to two times LB plus BH plus LH. That is a two into L fifteen B five plus five into five plus fifteen into five. Okay, so two into fifteen five is seventy five plus this twenty five plus seventy five. Okay, so two into seventy-five plus seventy-five, one fifty plus twenty-five. That is a one seventy-five. Okay, and one seventy-five into two, so it is two fives are ten, one two sevens are fourteen plus one fifteen, two ones are one or uh, two plus one. That is three. So three fifty centimeter square. That is the TSA of Cuboid. Okay. Now we will take fourth one. Fourth example is two cubes, each of volume 64 centimeter cube, are joined end to end. Find the surface area and volume of resulting cuboid. Okay. So two cubes, each cube having volume is given 64 centimeter cube is given, and we have to join that two cubes. We will get a cuboid. And we have to find the surface area and volume of that cube board. Okay, so first we will find side of the cube. Okay, so let side of cube having volume sixty-four centimeter cube be x. Okay, so x cube. We know that our first we write volume of cube. Volume of cube is equal to side cube. 
okay so here side is x so x cube volume of cube is given 64 so if we if we take cube root on both side so x is equal to 4 centimeter okay so cube having side is 4 centimeter if we join these two cubes end to end like this way so again length will be change of this cuboid length is 8 centimeter okay and breadth and height that is 4 centimeter okay so we have to find the surface area of this cuboid surface area and volume okay so first tsa of cuboid here we write first length is 8 centimeter breadth is 4 centimeter and height is 4 centimeter okay so tsa of cuboid is equal to 2 times lb plus bh plus lh okay so 2 into l 8 b 4 then 4 into 4 plus 8 into 4 okay so 2 into this is 32 plus 16 plus 32 so 32 plus 32 64 plus 16 that is a 64 plus 6 70 plus 10 80 so 2 into 80 that is a 160 centimeter square that is a TSA of cuboid okay now we will find volume of cuboid volume of cuboid we know that formula that is a LBH LBH so L is 8 B is 4 and H is 4 so 8 4 is 32 into 4 4 2 is 8 4 3 is 12 128 centimeter cube that is the volume of cuboid okay now we will take next example next question is the diameter of a metallic spear is 6 centimeter it is melted and drawn into a wire having diameter of the cross section as 0.2 centimeter find the length of the wire okay so metallic spear we have to melt into a wire and diameter of the cross section of the wire means radius of the wire sorry diameter of the wire is 0.2 centimeter is given we have to find the length of the wire okay so sphere we have to convert into wire wire means it is a cylindrical shape okay and we have to find the length of the wire means height of the cylinder okay this is sphere and this sphere melt into a wire okay this is wire diameter of wire is given 0.2 okay so we have to find the length of wire means length means here height so this h we have to find okay so if one object convert into another object then volume of both object is same okay so here volume of cuboid sorry volume of sphere not cuboid volume of sphere is equal to volume of cylindrical wire okay now we know that what is volume of sphere formula is 4 by 3 pi and diameter of uh, sphere is given 6 centimeter so radius of sphere is 6 by 2 4 by 3 pi r cube is equal to volume of cylindrical wire so volume of cylinder is pi r square h so pi and here diameter of wire is given 0.2 so radius is 0.2 divided by 2 so pi r square and h that that is length of wire so this h we have to find okay so this pi and this pi will get cancelled okay what is remain 4 by 3 6 by 2 that is 3 so 3 cube is 27 and here 0.2 divided by 2 that is a 
जीरो पॉइंट वन स्क्वेर इन टू एच सो थ्री नाइन जर फोर नाइन जर थर्टी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन स्क्वेर दैट इज वन बाय टेन ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर इन टू एच सो थर्टी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टेन दैट इज वन बाय हंड्रेड इन टू एच सो थर्टी सिक्स इन टू हंड्रेड सो एच इज इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो सेंटीमीटर ओके सो इफ यू कन्वर्ट इन मीटर वी नो दैट वन मीटर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर ओके सो एच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स मीटर सो लेंथ ऑफ वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स मीटर ओके हियर डायरेक्टली इक्वेट वॉल्यूम ऑफ टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पीयर इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंड्रिकल वायर ओके फर्स्ट राइट दैट गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट इज डायमीटर ऑफ मेटेलिक स्पीयर इज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर डायमीटर ऑफ वायर दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर ओके सो रेडियस ऑफ स्पीयर इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर रेडियस ऑफ वायर इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सेंटीमीटर ओके एंड देन राइट दिस वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पीयर इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंड्रिकल वायर राइट फॉर्मुले put values okay this is easy to solve no need to find separately means volume of sphere first then volume of cylindrical wire then equate it okay so here we will get height of the cylindrical wire or length of the wire is 36 meter okay now we will take next example next example is a right circular cone is of height 8.4 cm and the radius of its base is 2.1 cm it is melted and recast into a sphere find the radius of the sphere okay cone melted and recast into a sphere okay this is cone and this cone melted into a sphere okay so volume of cone is equal to volume of sphere okay so first i am writing dimensions of cone so for cone H is equal to 8.4 centimeter. R is equal to 2.1 centimeter. Okay. Then radius of sphere B capital R. Okay. Then now volume of cone. is equal to volume of sphere volume of cone is equal to volume of sphere now we know that volume of cone 1/3 of pi r square h 1/3 of pi r square h okay or 1 by 3 pi r square h volume of sphere 4 by 3 pi and radius is r cube capital r so r cube okay now which quantity we can cancel this 3 and this 3 this pi and this pi so r square h what is r 2.1 square into h is 8.4 is equal to 4 into r cube okay so if we simplify this 2.1 we can write 21 by 10 bracket square 8.4 again 84 by 10 into this 4 we have to shift here so that is 1 by 4 is equal to r cube okay so this is 42084 4104 so 21 square into this 21 and divided by 10 square into 10 okay is equal to r cube so it is 21 cube Divided by 10 cube is equal to r cube. So if we find square root of the uh, cube root of this, r is equal to 21 by 10. That is r is equal to 2.1 centimeter. Okay. So radius of sphere that is a 2.1 centimeter. Okay. Understand this. Now we will take seventh example. Next example is if the diameter of cross section of a wire is decreased by five percent, if we decrease diameter of a 
wire by 5 percent how much percent will the length be increased so that the volume remains same okay if we decrease diameter by 5 percent how much percent the length be increased so that the volume remains same okay so first we have to suppose that let radius of wire be r and height is h okay radius of wire be r and height of the wire is h okay now what is given if the diameter of cross section of wire is decreased by 5 percent okay so if radius is r diameter is equal to 2r okay now new diameter is we have to subtract 5 percent of the original diameter okay so new diameter is equal to 2r minus 5 percent of 2r okay so 2r minus 5 by 100 into 2r okay so it is 5 under 5 20 okay this is 2 under 2 2 10 sir. so 2r minus r by 10 that is if you simplify this 10 2 are 20 20 r minus r 19 r by 10 so new diameter is 19 r by 10 so new radius that is equal to half of this so 19 r by half of this 19 r by 10 that is equal to 19 r by 20 okay so new radius is 19 r by 20 okay now what is given how much percent will the length be increased so that the volume remains same so we have to equate the volume okay now we have to suppose that new height that is h1 okay now volume remains same so original volume is pi r square h and new volume is pi new radius 19 r by 20 so 19 r by 20 square into h1 okay so this pi this pi cancel okay r square h is equal to 19 square is 361 r square upon 20 square is 400 into h1 okay so this r square and this r square will get cancelled h is equal to 361 by 400 h1 so value of h1 this 400 we have to shift so 400 h upon 361 so this is the value of h1 okay so how much increase in length how we find this that is a increase in length is equal to h1 minus h so h1 is 400 h by 361 and minus this h so 400 h minus 361 h divided by 361 so 400 minus 361 that is uh, 39 h upon 361 okay 39 h upon 361 that is an increase in length then how much percent increase how we find so percentage increase is equal to how much increase in length that is this that is h1 minus h divided by original so h multiplied by 100 so 39 h by 361 divided by this h multiply by 100 so this h and this h cancel 39 into 100 3900 upon 361 okay so find in decimal that is a in percentage that much percent 
percentage increase in length okay if we simplify this we will get answer is 10.8 percentage okay so 3900 by 361 we will get 10.8 percent okay so if we decrease diameter by 5 percent we have to increase length by 10.8 percent so that volume of wire remains same okay understand this one now we will take next example next example is a solid sphere of radius 3 cm is melted and then cast into small spherical balls each of diameter 0.6 cm find the number of balls thus obtain okay one sphere is there having radius is 3 cm we have to melt it and recast into small spherical balls each of diameter is given 0.6 and we have to find the number of balls so volume of that metal sphere or solid sphere having radius is 3 is equal to sum of the volumes of this small spherical balls okay so we have to find the number of balls so let number of balls b n okay number of balls b n then how we write this okay we have to find first diameter of small spherical ball sorry it is given diameter of small spherical ball is equal to 0 0.6 centimeter therefore radius of small spherical ball is equal to 0 0.6 by 2 that is 0 0.3 centimeter okay now how we write this volume of sphere is equal to n into okay so this wall uh, this sphere we have to melt and we have to recast into small spherical balls so volume of that sphere is equal to n into volume of one spherical ball okay because each spherical ball means all spherical balls are same to each other okay so we can write volume of sphere is equal to n into volume of one spherical ball okay now volume of sphere that is 4 by 3 pi and r cube so radius is given 3 so 3 cube n into volume of one spherical ball that is 4 by 3 this is also spherical so 4 by 3 pi and radius of this is 0 0.3 centimeter okay so it is 0 0.3 cube okay now this 4 by 3 4 by 3 cancel this pi cancel so what is remain 3 cube is equal to n into 0 0.3 we can write 3 by 10 bracket cube okay so what is remain 3 cube n into 3 cube by 10 cube okay so this if we shift here n is equal to 3 cube into this 10 cube and divided by this 3 cube so this will cancel what is remain 10 cube 10 cube means 1000 okay so number of spherical balls made from this sphere having radius is 3 centimeter that is a 1000 spherical balls okay understand this